Hey, Magic fans. Welcome back. This is the Captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. Today, we've got some more Karloff Manor spoilers on this wonderful Sunday evening. Um, before we get started, don't forget, comment, like, subscribe, stuff in the description, eBay store, TCG player, all that good jazz. Patreon memberships are going on now if you want to hook me up. Also, the easiest way is just subscribe to the channel and watch the videos. It helps out the most. Also, we're on Rumble. Check me out over there if you want. You get the same kind of videos, but if you don't like YouTube, that's okay. Watch me on Rumble. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, we're going to start off today with the goodest of boys, or I guess you could say the baddest. He looks pretty mean. We have Karlov Watchdog, a white and three for a 3-2 with Vigi. Permanent, your opponent's control can't be turned face up during your turn. Whenever you attack with three or more creatures, creatures you control get plus one, plus one till end of turn. This thing is sweet. Great card for the new Ren and Siri deck. Just saying. Just saying, Commander. So, going to be fine on Limited uh, and in Commander, Ren and Siri. Um, other than that, though, probably not going to see a whole lot of, of uh, uh, play value. I mean, it's four mana for only a three, two. It does some things, but it just doesn't do enough. Next here we have the Sanctuary Wall. Looks like Selesnia to me. White and one, though, for an 0-4 defender. Um, it is an artifact also. Uh, white and two, you can tap, tap target creature. Um, you may put a stun counter on it. If you do, put a stun counter on the wall. So, basically, you can lock something down for two turns. If you leave your wall locked down so it can't block. Which is okay, I guess. Now, commander players, or even limited players, to be honest with you, if you have a way to untap this thing and you just keep putting counters out there, this could be sweet. However, you do have to remove stun counters from your creature. I'm just saying. Um, so at some point, you will have to let this uh, wall stay stunned. Or... I mean, let's be honest, uh, it can, a stun counter comes off whether it's tapped or untapped, so um, you could rack up some stun counters while they're falling off at the same time, so uh, not the worst, not the best, uh, okay for limited, but that might be as far as it goes, and unless you want to put this in a butt fight deck, that might be kind of cool. All right, next we have the wonderful Glint Weaver, two green and five for this spider, holy cow. 3-3, three, three. of course it has reach. It's a spider. Why would it not have reach? Anyway, uh, when it enters the battlefield, distribute 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters among 1, 2, or 3 target creatures. Then, you gain life equal to the greatest toughness among creatures you control. Um, I mean, at best, it's a 6-6 six, six with reach for 7. I mean, the, the counters can go other places, and that's fine, but... I mean, this is limited at best, and I'm not even sure I'd play this in limited, guys. This is just 7 mana for a 6-6 six, six reach that doesn't do anything else. I mean, maybe pump your creatures if you have creatures. Just doesn't seem it's going to do anything. I mean, maybe there's a, a Spider Commander deck that might want to play this. Tell me in the comments if you guys know one, but um, it just costs too much. doesn't do enough. I just don't see this getting a lot of play anywhere. Now we have the Urgent Necropsy. Necropsy? Ne Necropsy? I think I said it right the first time. Anyway, black, green, and two for this instant. Additional cost to casting a spell. Collect Evidence X, where X is the total mana value of the permanence this spell targets. Notice it says permanence, plural, because it says destroy up to... One target artifact, up to one target creature, up to a target enchantment, and up to one target planeswalker. Thank God this damn thing doesn't target a land. Oh my God, this would be so annoying. Um, this card looks amazing. Um, however, the whole evidence part of the problem um, may make this card hard to play. Now, I mean... You can play it and target one thing for four mana, but let's be honest here. If I'm paying four mana and up two colors, plus getting stuff out of my graveyard, I want at least a two for one. And this will probably give it to you, but it can be a dead card early game, so I'm not sure how much play it's going to see in standard. I'm sure it'll probably be okay. 
this is definitely a limited all-star because, well, it's removal. And it can kill multiple things. Um, now, Commander. Commander. Oh, let me tell you a story. This. This right here. This is going to be something special. Because, uh, you know, yeah. Because evidence is mana value of what you exile out of your graveyard. You could put some very high casting cost stuff in your graveyard to evidence it out and just do damage with this thing. Oh my god, damage. Um, also, if you cast it once and somebody copies it or you copy it, oh boy, game on. I think it's going to be pretty sweet for Commander, but it's probably going to be the only place it sees any play. Just uh, That's just my opinion, though. What do I know? Not a whole lot. So next we have the Deadly Cover-Up. Two black and three for this sorcery. Uh, as additional cost of this spell, you may collect evidence six. Ugh, here we go again. So destroy all creatures. If evidence was collected, exile a card from your opponent's graveyard. Then search your owner's graveyard hand and library for any number of cards with the same name as the card exiled. <clears throat> and exile them, sorry. That player shuffles and draws a card for each card exiled from their hand this way. This is pretty sweet, I'm not going to lie. Because, hear me out. Yes, collect evidence six may be a lot. But, this is a five mana Wrath of God. Which is fine by itself. It says it right here. Destroy all creatures. Then, if the evidence was paid, you get to exile a card from your, gra from your opponent's graveyard. And remove that card from their hand, library... Graveyard. It obviously, if it comes from a hand, they can throw a card to replace it. That's the best part, cause cause you destroy the creatures first, so they'll be in the graveyard when this part resolves, because there's a period. So let's say someone's playing a Traxa deck. They've laid their Traxa, and now you have a problem. Well, you can deadly cover up, kill all their stuff, put the Traxa in the graveyard. Target the Atraxa and rip all the other Atraxas out of their hand, library, deck, graveyard, so they can never cast them again. And that is sweet. Um, also, let's not take any, let's also take consideration. It says exile a card. Um, you don't have to target a creature once you wrath. You can wrath to kill creatures, then target a planeswalker, or an instant spell, or a sorcery, or whatever it is that's that's making you have a bad day. Um, and because of that, this is going to be an amazing card in Commander and will be in probably every black deck that needs a Wrath. Um, limited, it's a Wrath. It's great. Standard, it's a Wrath. It's great. It probably get played. Um, other than that, probably not. Five mana Wraths are not as popular in older formats where things are just cheaper. Plus, we have Wrath of God. So, and, and we have Damnation too now. So, not necessary. But, this in formats like commander limited and standard will be highly playable in the coming future next we have the candlestick because it's clue why wouldn't we one blue artifact clue equipment equip creature gets plus one plus one it has whether this creature attacks surveils two that's actually really good it equips for two this is a very useful artifact plus it's clue so you can draw a card off of it um yeah, great for limited. This is the kind of thing you want to see. I mean, if you don't have creatures, you can draw cards, which is always great. You can make your creatures bigger, plus you can Surveil 2. Uh, maybe a thing for standard, depending on how the decks play out. Surveil 2 is pretty big uh, mechanic when it comes to things like standard, where you're trying to do, when you're trying to do deck manipulation. Um, or maybe just try to put stuff in your graveyard, right? So this, this could be a thing. Um, but other than that, I don't think it's going to see a whole lot of play. This is not something you would see in Commander. There's so much better things for one mana. Um, but yeah. All right, next we have Lost in a Maze. Two blue and X enchantment, mind you, with flash. So might as well be an instant. But anyway, when Lost in a Maze enters the battlefield, tap X target creatures, put a stun counter on each of those creatures that you don't control. Why would you tap your own stuff? Well, I guess there's probably a reason. But anyway, tap creatures you control have hexproof. Not only is this a two-mana protect spell, it's a two-mana protect yourself from dying spell if your opponent tries to punch you in the face real hard. Um, and it buys you an extra turns to get stun counters. And your stuff has hexproof. This is insanely good. Yes, it's two blue, and that will be a little bit, we'll say, constraining, but not terrible because it's only two. So this, it may see, I doubt it'll see play in older formats, but I mean, it's highly liked. It, it's possible. 
but probably not. Limited All-Star, definitely. Uh, probably going to see some play in Standard. And this looks really sweet in Commander decks because you can stun an entire field of attackers so they can't attack you this turn or anybody else. And the next turn, which will allow you and your rest of the opponents at the table to pummel the opponent who's winning because the hell with them and everybody they rode in on. Um, yeah, this is going to be pretty popular, I think. Uh, probably only 2 or $3 unless it becomes a thing. And then it might be 5 bucks at best, but this is pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. So, with that said, guys, thanks a lot for stopping by. I appreciate it. So, until next time, be kind. And as always... I hope to see you across the game table. Hopefully not getting lost in a maze. God, that would be annoying.